I need my working mind to find myself an Airbnb close to where I'm working, uh, figure out what kind of clothes I'm going to take, what do I need, all these things. We need the working mind, absolutely. What I'm referring to, that is the enemy, is the monkey mind. So it's the part that's dwelling in the past or using the past and projecting it into the future as fear, worry, and anxiety. That's what I'm referring to. And it is the enemy, as long as one hasn't mastered the mind. The mind is a horrible master, is the worst master on this planet. The worst thing can happen to anybody is when their mind is their master. And what it does, it always tortures you always the only thing it will do to you is to torture you by taking you into whatever you've done in the past that has resulted in failure and blaming you for it continuously whatever you've missed if you missed the train you missed a love, a woman, an investment, or whatever in your life, blaming you for missing it. And put you in fear, worry, and anxiety about the future. But when you master the mind, then it's a wonderful employee. It's a wonderful servant. It will serve you very very well so maybe I wasn't very clear at the moment or I'm just using different kind of ter terminology to grab my audience attention in the moment um, that the mind the monkey mind is the enemy and we need to conquer it we need to conquer the enemy territory and submit them to our rules because they're constantly attacking our land they're constantly torching the villages killing killing our citizens and destroying our land and want to conquer us so we have to fight them and that's one of the reasons I designed the upcoming workshop the self-awakening mastery workshop which we're going to have next week is basically the main part of it besides that we're going to learn how to raise our vibrations to a higher frequency and sustain it in a higher frequency is how to do mind management how can i get the reins of this mind in my mind in my hands and be the master of it instead of jumping on this horse without any kind of training not knowing how to direct this powerful beautiful beast and this beast has taken off and is running in all these different directions and at any moment i can fall off and break my neck and have a either die or have a lifetime injury and be paralyzed so we need to learn to master the mind is that does it more sound resonate to you or yes yeah, yeah. you you yeah yeah exactly that's really what I, I'm glad you brought it up because this is really good for everybody to hear but this, this is really what I mean and when we learn how to master the mind means that because there's other teachings that it's out there which it's false teachings I'm bold enough 
to say that. Positive thinking, think positively, people tell you, or keep visualizing, or don't say anything negative because it's going to happen to you. That's mind fucking. It's very exhausting continuously to be mindful of not saying anything negative. Everything you say has to come positive out of your mouth. It's very annoying because I've been around friends that people I know that they're very much into pseudo-spirituality and you're just talking and you say, you know what, I feel like I'm coming down with a, with a cold. And they say, no, 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 don't say that, don't say that, because you're going to manifest it. And, or you're just saying, yeah, I don't know about the, 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 that, the mo I don't know if I can make it, you know, okay, we're going to be hiking for three hours and get on top of this mountain. I go, I don't know, you know, I don't think I'm fit to do it. No, no, no. No, don't say that. Don't say that. It's going to manifest. It's like you get to a point you can't even talk about to these people because every word comes out of your mouth, somebody wants to correct you. And it's very annoying because now I can't talk. Anything I want to say, someone is going to correct me that it's negative talking, negative thinking. That's why I say, no thinking, no thoughts. That's one thing. B is that the recognition of recognizing, we're working on ourselves, training ourselves. This is a training program. Because imagine like, you're 40 years old, you're 50 years old, you're 60 years old. And all your years that you lived, and I'm not pointing out to you, Heinz, okay? I'm just saying in general. All the years I lived, I'm going to use myself, I have no mind management. I have nothing. No one has ever taught me anything. So I'm always mind-fucking. I'm always in the past, always worried about things I've done and projecting it always to the future. And I go through that all my life. Now you come to this teachings. So I have to treat you like a child because you I have to teach you a brand new language. I have to teach this to my people in a short period of time because we live in an era that everybody wants instant gratification. They want instantly to awaken. They want to get to the top of the mountain in quickly. They don't have any patience. And if you can't deliver it, then you're not the good teacher. Let me go to the next guy. And let me try this other workshop. But this takes time. Because there has been no training. And now you're dealing with a six-year-old person. They're not 12 years old, 15 years old, 20 years old six years old, they're 60, 70, 50, whatever years old, of zero training of how to be the master of the mind. Now you have to create a system to deliver the message. A, you have to make sure that they have this experience of inner silence. 